let's use if statements to solve a really interesting, important, and seemingly complex problem. Let's suppose you're given a spreadsheet, and one of my former students had a problem just like this, where in a given row you have the person's name, the next row their street address, and the next row their city, state, and zip code, and it just repeats that pattern. That's how the data came in in the database. So every third row has the name followed by the street address, followed by the city, state, and zip. And you would like to sort of put all the information for each person in a single row and then have all blanks, and then you could easily sort it and put all the information together. So like you'd like row three to have all Wayne Winston's information, row six all Jeff Sackerman's information, et cetera. And this could be thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, or over a million rows. Well, the key is to use three functions together. We need an if statement basically to say, if like it's the third row or the sixth row, we have to put something in there. Actually, we need text functions in candidate. Forgot about that. But this is typical of being good at Excel. You have to combine things. Okay, so now if it's the third row, the sixth row, the ninth row, the twelfth row, we have to basically put something in there. How do we tell Excel if it's the third row, sixth row, ninth row, or twelfth row? Well, there's a function in Excel called the row function. So if I say row, left friend, right friend, that'll give you the row you're in. Okay, so basically if the row you're in is divisible by three, you want to put something there. So how do you tell if a row is divisible by three? Well, you use the mod function. You say mod, and then you take the row number that you're in, divide it by three. You get the remainder when you divide by three. And see, that's the ninth row. So basically, that's divisible by three. In the tenth and eleventh row, it won't be. So if the mod function for the row you're in, when you, in other words, the remainder when you divide the row you're in by three is equal to zero, I should say, then you want to put something in there. What do you want to put in there? Well, you want to concatenate the current row with the two rows below it separated by spaces. Otherwise, you want a blank there. And that's the solution to the problem. And there could be a million, 48,000 rows, whatever here, and this will work perfectly. So you'd say if, so we'll take the mod of the row number, divide it by three, and if that equals zero, what we're going to do is concatenate the name and then we're going to put a space, quote, space, quote. And then we're going to put the street address. And we're going to put another space. And then we're going to put the city, state, and zip. So if the row divided by the number divided by three equals zero, we're going to put the information in there. Otherwise, we want a blank space, something like that. We could have quote space blank. It doesn't really matter. Okay, there we go. There's all the information. If I just copy that down, look at that. So in every row, third row, I've got all the information on the person. Then I could sort on this. And then basically, I've got the information I need in the form I need maybe to do a mailing or something like that. And so the key in this example was take advantage of the structure was that every third row had the person's name and then the street address and the city, state, and zip were right below that. So this, I think, really shows you the power of being able to combine Excel functions. Again, in this case, the if statement, the mod function, the row uh, function, and the concatenate function. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so, yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.